Donald. Hatrusing edges and very well taken there. This time there is no mistake. And a fine catch from Brian McMillan. And to get something of that sort to send the Sri Lankan opener packing is quite confident. And a 24 run partnership not proving successful for the Sri Lankans. This is not what was really needed. Outside is off stump. Nowhere near hitting it uh, perfectly and only after 35 minutes of batting in the ninth over. Donald shows the way out for Hathurusinga. Playing it away from his body. That was the danger. But a fine catch from uh, Richardson moving. And that was the difference that beat Jaisoria. Billiards. Good delivery, he got a touch to that one, didn't wait for the umpire's decision. And Richardson doing the rest. He really troubled both batsmen, De Villiers, and two down for 24. So without any addition, Sri Lanka losing both openers. A lot of effort on the part of Villiers, and a lot of movement, trying to glide that one through the slips. Mahanama paying the penalty, out for 10. Arvind De Silva comes in, big reception for him. Macmillan, the second bowling change. Wrapped on the pad and a loud appeal. Jasuria is out, trying to play that uh, delivery across very early on. And Macmillan striking quite well. He will be disappointed. 34 for 3 and Sri Lanka in deep trouble. Like South Africa, who lost their first three wickets for the addition of 12 runs, Sri Lanka have lost three wickets for the addition of 10. The Sri Lankan captain coming in at a crucial stage, and Sri Lanka's most experienced batsman at the wickets, they need to put up a big stand. Snell bowls. Arvind De Silva cracking square cut on that occasion had very little time to move and that's a uh, comparison after 15 overs but the difference was South Africa had not lost any wickets Macmillan oh he edged it through to the wicket keeper see the delight of the South Africans to see the back of Arvind De Silva not the best of strokes and he paid the penalty at 39 for 4, Sri Lanka in big trouble. Good delivery, a lot of movement, and an outside edge, which is in holding on to that catch in front of Kepler with two new balls at either side and under lights. The South Africans really enjoying excellent conditions. Asan Kapurson came in with a runner. That's uh, Sanat Jazz. Smell. Oh, edging it and a brilliant catch from uh, Brian Macmillan. And that's the end of Asanka Gurusinga. Half the side gone, Sri Lanka only 43. Limping off the wicket and a dejected Jasuria also walking away with uh, Asanka Gurusinga on this occasion. Whatever it was, it was not very far away from Brian Macmillan. Long way off from the victory target. Macmillan in. Going for the hit, but straight to mid on. De Villiers is there and Sri Lanka losing yet another wicket. 6 for 52 and the issue getting very much clearer now as the Sri Lankan captain walks away dejected. Brian Macmillan, he has certainly put South Africa into a commanding position. It runs straightened up on the left hand. Cox in once more. 
Boy is caught and very well caught by Richard Zan. Very bad stroke from Ruan Kalpage. And he's out without scoring. In fact, the first batsman to be out so in this match. Not the best of uh, strokes, but a very good catch. Sri Lankans put into further humiliation. Vessels the bowler. South African captain dropping that one short to Tilakaratna. And he would be eager to get some runs against his name in this match. Simcox. And Dasanaika edges it. Vacant uh, slip region. Alan Donald, the fielder. Simcox. Well played. Got the ball into the gap. A long chase for Daryl Kalinan. And he gets there quickly. Villiers. Oh, straight throw to the wicket keeper. No mistake about that one. The moment it went through, the wicket keeper was confident. And uh, Hashan Tilakaratna is out for 20. Battled for a long time. Incidentally, the top score of the innings. But uh, see this difference. That was the fourth catch by the South African wicket keeper. have Sri Lanka's top scorer in a match where the batting has really crumbled and the mere formality of seeing the last two wickets fall at this stage. Donald goes for the hook. Oh, he didn't control that one. That's the third catch for Brian McMillan. Pobudu Dasanayaka trying to hook Alan Donald, nowhere near connecting it. Top edging it, but he wouldn't mind. Got into double figures in his first limited overs internationals inning. That ball short. Oh, bowled him. It's all over. South Africa winning this important first day night international between the two countries by a massive 124 runs really outplayed Sri Lanka and the large crowd absolutely disappointed. Vessels would be happy. He had the initial bonus in winning the toss and their bowlers did the rest in helpful conditions. Tavillias finishing it off in style and the Sri Lankans really not having an answer against the quick bowlers of the South Africans. Many people were there to congratulate the South Africans. They played extremely well. They richly deserved to win this match. And for the Sri Lankans, only four batsmen got into double figures. And the highest contribution came by way of extras. And it's a very, very sorry scorecard with uh, Gurusinghe injured. Probably not be playing in the next one-day match. At any stage, Sri Lanka was not on top of the South African bowling. And most of the batsmen paid the penalty of not being able to play the moving delivery and the South African bowlers really did move the ball very much. Of the South African bowlers, Brian McMillan was easily the pick. Ever since he came on, things were happening.